three assassins target another member of Iraq's interim government. Also a deadly attack outside of a U.S. military camp. We go live to Baghdad where Fox News correspondent Dan Springer shot and killed in Saudi Arabia. The search is on for another American kidnapped by terrorists. We go live to the Mideast. Some people are expected to line up to pay their respects to President Ronald Reagan tomorrow. His body is now sealed inside of a tomb outside of his presidential library in Simi Valley, California. Workers there needed bar on his pick for vice president. There's no shortage of speculation, though, about who will share the ticket with Kerry come November. Meanwhile, there's also word President Bush wants some help from the Vatican. Steve Santani is live. Same time, make sure that these uh, new governments and the new security forces are not going to be targeted like they have been. Well, that's right. That's a dilemma right now to get the Iraqi security forces up that are broken down. We've had some success establishing the green zone where the coalition, you know, it, yes. it operates behind that green zone. Yes, and I've we've been in seen, there. And, and yeah, you were in Baghdad. You've, we've seen the attacks greatly reduced on Americans and U.S. troops. That's right. Can we do the same or help them establish a green zone of, of sorts for the new Iraqi council? Well, the key is some of the reports I was reading today by 27,800 men. They wanted a target number of uh, 35,000. What's going on? Well, the, uh, they're not going to be prepared. Well, with the Democratic convention next month, there is a lot of buzz about who John Kerry will tap to share the ticket. An Associated Press poll shows that 30 kidnapped another American, and we were hearing reports that these kidnappers were going to be releasing a list of demands that they wanted to see met in order to ensure the release of this captor. And uh, again, all we're hearing now from Reuters through a Saudi diplomat is that a body said to be of a Westerner was found dead in the Saudi capital. We'll keep you up to date on that story and much more as Fox News. I'm going to be waiting around for two hours. That's when uh, President George Bush 41 is going to jump it's out of amazing. the plane, and our own Brit Hume is going to be jumping about a half hour before him. And are you jumping like at five? <laughs> no way. <laughs> but I hope Brit Hume makes it out without a scratch. He's going to be on Fox and Friends tomorrow morning to tell us we all do. about Karen it. We will be uh, see you upstairs later on. We'll be all watching right. it too. Good Bye, to Eric. see you, of course, as always.